Hello everyone, today is August 3rd, 2022, and it is day one of my classroom setup. Welcome, if you're new to my channel, my name is Maria Lee Sanchez, and I'm a fourth grade teacher in South Florida. And my first official contractual day back is next week, Friday, August 12th, with two op days, two days before that. Op days are days that we come in, but we're not paid for. But if we work those two days, we can optionally take a teacher planning day sometime in the school year off and not come into work. So my official first day is next week. But I'm here today because the principal let us know that teachers on the second floor can start coming in today to set up their classrooms. And I want to get a head start because next week is the day back. And next week, Friday, we start with an opening of school meeting in the morning and then parents come in to drop in and say hello in the afternoon. So I don't know how much of a progress I'm going to make, but I just came into my room after not being here for two months. And this is the current state of the classroom. So this is the view from the front door of the classroom. And as you may remember, I had put all this paper to cover my bookshelves, but the room is kind of warm, which is not a surprise because it usually gets like that. And I'm sure the heat caused the tape to fall off. And I see that there's a cluster of desks over here. Not sure why. I have a new computer, but this table is supposed to go behind my desk. So the first order of business for today, sometime today, I'm gonna actually move this printer to a little table that I have over here. I may eventually just move this printer behind my desk, we'll see. And that way I can move this computer over, like one of these computers over and that one over there, so that I can move that table back where it belongs over there behind my desk, which I'm sure that's where it was, but somebody decided to move it there. I hope in the process they didn't scratch the floor, which is something that I'm going to be very careful of. And I see that there are some scratches on the floor. But this is the current state of my classroom. So I am going to put these desks in some sort of way because I need to unroll my classroom rug and start setting up the library area so I can start bringing down the bookshelves and things like that. I do need to remove this plastic covering. I don't know if you can tell, but there's a plastic covering uh, protecting my bulletin board. So I'm gonna remove the plastic covering so that it's good to go. So we'll see how much work I end up completing today. I don't know if I am gonna come tomorrow or Friday because it's still technically my summer break. It's my last few days of summer, my last week of summer. So I wanna make sure I enjoy it. And I do have some doctor's appointments to get to in the next two days. So I'll just play it by ear for now. So let me get some fans down because it is warm in here and get started with some work. Okay, I placed my small Ikea table here and now I got some wipes to clean up this mess where the printer was. And these are not useful, so just throw them out. And I crumpled the paper there. So now it's just a matter of moving the computers over. All right, I have placed the computers side by side. So that's how that looks. I did bring down one of my fans because it's kind of hot in here. So now what I'm going to do to get this table out and this cart, which is not mine, I don't know why it's in here. It belongs to the media center, I think. But um, I gotta set up these desks in like a U or something so that I have surface space to work with and also so that these are out of the way so I can start moving this table back there where it was. All right, little by little, making progress. This whole thing with the computers probably took me about 20 minutes. I wanna give a timestamp. I got here around nine. 9 10 or so by the time i made it into the building so right now it's 9 40. just so that we keep in mind how long it's taking me to get things done today and see how much i get accomplished by the time i leave <sighs> slowly making progress here i just set up the desk in like a c and i want to give you a little hack that i just used or i am using to move my couch before that, here's what I mean by a C. So it's literally a C. But what I did is I don't have the movable coasters, but I do have felt sheets. So I just cut up 
one felt sheet into fours and I just put one piece under each of the legs of the sofa so that I can easily slide it without having to worry about scratching my floors. So if you have some felt sheets, that's a good hack for you. All right, so now I place the couch there. That's only temporarily. I don't know if I'm gonna keep this set up for now, but I just need surface space so that I can have room to place some of those things here over here. So the next thing is to use the felt trick with this table so I can move it back there behind my desk where it belongs. All four pieces of felt are now underneath each leg. Now it's time to just slide it over. All right, table has been placed. I did have to modify the felt trick a little bit by putting some rubber bands around the leg so the felt would stay on as I was sliding it over. I now place my Monday through Friday cart right here where it usually goes. Next, it is time to unroll the rug. Voila. I do have to invest in a little vacuum cleaner, but for now, I'm just going to use my broom and vigorously sweep it. All done sweeping the rug. Looks pretty good considering I used a broom. But I just finished taking a little break because I started getting a side stitch right underneath my right lung by your diaphragm, and that's not fun. I haven't had those in a few months. So <laughs> it's back to work it is, right? All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do right now is I have my flat staple remover because I'm gonna take off the plastic from these bulletin boards. And all done. I took down all the plastic. I was very careful taking it down and I did fold it because I am going to save it for later. I will put it in one of my bins up there with the decorations so that it's good to go for the end of the year next school year. But wow, great. Now I feel like I am ready to start bringing these things down. I realized I don't have my step ladder, the sturdy one. I have the one that's not very sturdy, so I have to be very careful with that. But what I am going to do right now is go ahead and get my microwave and my fridge from the car so that I can start getting it all cooled up and I can start cooling some drinks because I already went through my bottle of water. All right, I came back from unloading my car and putting the things where they need to go. So down here, I have my fridge. I cleaned it and my microwave and I plugged them in. I set the time. I also brought up my favorite sparkling water cans from Spindrift. Target had them on sale this week for $4.99 each eight pack. And I just love these, so I'm gonna be storing them in the refrigerator so I have things to drink. I also have some water bottles that I need to put in there. And I have a little bit of a haul to show you because I had some bags in the car that I just brought up and I unpacked everything. But here's some cute little board decorations. These are magnetic. So this is a little succulent with a little magnet hook that I can hang from the board and so are these. I have a mini stapler. These little tape dispensers were like a dollar, so they were really cute. I got a pencil sharpener, some Sharpie pens and, or Sharpie fine tip markers, and some post-it pads. I got like the rainbow colors, they were a dollar. Freezer bags. This is a nice little find. So it's a little magnetic LED disco ball, and it's battery powered, and here's the magnet. So you just put it on, I'm gonna put it on the board like that i do have to put batteries in to just kind of see how it looks and i'll show you later but this is something that i actually also saw joanne miller head over heels for teaching on instagram and she uses it in her classroom so i saw it and i'm like oh my god i'm gonna get one i also have a disco ball out there and that one is electricity powered and i just hook it up there but it doesn't have an on and off button, so I have to climb up there and turn it on so it doesn't get turned on all the time. But this one has an on and off power button here. And yeah, that would be cool for celebrations. I have this plastic book bag that I got last year from one of my administrators. And then I laid out all of the supplies that our students are going to need this year. So these are all the supplies that my co-teacher and I have asked the students to bring. So four composition notebooks, the plastic folders, expo markers, pencils, Sharpie markers, art supplies, erasers, glue, a supply bag so they can keep some of this stuff in their book bags, earbuds or headphones, scissors, index cards, posted 
two boxes of tissue paper, a small dry erase board, and a dry erase marker for themselves. But yeah, I wanted to kind of lay it out so I can take a picture and have it ready for the parents in case they have any questions. I also had this amazing find on Michael's. It was only $10.49. It was missing one of the purple boxes. So this is like a photo craft keeper, but I have three of them up there. I use them for different activities, but I went ahead and I just bought these at Hobby Lobby for $1.49. And I bought two thinking I needed two, but I only needed one. So I just put it in there. And it's nice because it's like a little carrying case. And it has all of these in there. And they can be used for task cards or games etc i also found these at target yesterday and these are task card carriers too so the flash card holders they were a dollar each i saw this it looks really cute like a little treasure box thinking of putting my reward stickers in here to just store them for myself and this little plastic container that looks like a globe that was really cute so i'm sure i can figure out different things i can keep in there also because our school is having like a sports theme this year our fourth grade team has a bulletin board outside with our names on it that it's soccer themed. So I decided as a little welcome back to school kind of treat to give the teachers in my team, there's six of us, a little bucket with, it looks like grass at the bottom. That's what I was trying to go for. And it has a little stress ball, this little blackboard that I got at Michael's that I'm putting stickers on to personalize it for them. A little soccer pen, two soccer pencils, this little pin box that I got from Oriental Trading. Look how cute. I'm actually gonna put Altoids in here, mini Altoids, because the mints in here, I didn't really like them. So I got these little mini tin cans of Altoids that I will be putting inside of here. They actually fit inside. Whoops, that fell. And that way they can have a better mint. <laughs> and then they have these little bracelets and underneath, I have these little Hershey Kisses that I got these little stickers customized at Orange Joe Trading for the bottom of the Hershey Kisses. So that is a little treat for my team, a little welcome back. And I also put some soccer stickers on the back. Looks a little disheveled, but I'll fix it up and make one for every member of my team. So that was a little update for you. I am going to start bringing the stuff down. I do wanna make sure that I try to bring as much of it down as I can today before I leave. So let's go ahead and check the time. Right now is 12.16. So I have been able to do quite a few things, you know, since the last time, you know, bringing that stuff from my car and unpacking. But now I really need to either stop for lunch or start bringing some of these things down. So let me go ahead and get to that. All right, here's a little bit of an update. So since I last left you, I had a little lunch and I started bringing down the bookshelves that are stacked up on top of my cabinets. I did finish getting all the top part, the top part of the bottom, I'll show you. So all the ones that were on top of these, I just finished bringing them down. Now what's left is these six bookshelves that are filled with books. And yes, I started using my surface base to make a mess over here as well because before we get anything organized, we do have to make a mess. But so far, this is how the library area is looking. So I started putting some of the bookshelves there. One more bookshelf goes here. And then I have two tall ones, the dark brown ones that are in the back over there that go on either side of the fireplace. And then two more bookshelves go there. So those are the bookshelves. And then these three brown ones go around my desk and they hold our picture book collection. So as you can see, it's quite a lot of work and it's just me here today going up and down my stepladder that is not very sturdy because my sturdy one is at home. I took it home for the summer. And right now the time is 2.33. Well, now it's 2.34. And I'm not sure what time they're gonna have us leave the building but I'm gonna continue working until they tell us that we need to leave. So I'm gonna take a little break right now to drink some water, and then I'm gonna start tackling the other dark brown bookshelves so I can put them in the classroom library area. Okay, so they did come on 30 minutes ago and let us know that the school building is closing at 4.30, but they want us out by four. I'm gonna to try to get out by 4.15. But I wasn't gonna start taking down the bookshelves in the back part of the classroom where my sink is 
but then I needed to put the taller ones in the classroom library so I can kind of figure out where to space the other bookshelves because I'm about to start putting the books in them. And if they get books in them, they're gonna be harder to move. So I moved them down. So I took the two that were there and the one that was up there as well. The one that was on the top goes here. Those will house my teacher editions. And there it is. I put them right there on either side of the fireplace so that I can properly space these and start putting more bookshelves. One more bookshelf goes there and two bookshelves go here. But yep, yeah, it's coming together little by little. Let's see how much I can accomplish in another 30 minutes or so. Cause right now the time is 3.36. All right, let me get to it and see how much of these books I can take down and put away. Oh, and if you're wondering if I'm actually organizing the books in a certain way right now, I'm not. I'm just putting them in the bookshelves and later on, I will organize them. All right, my friends, I've done everything that I could possibly do today and I feel good. I mean, I feel exhausted, I feel hot, I feel achy. <laughs> but right now it is 4.16 and I took down all the dark brown bookshelves. I do have these books to put away. I just wanted to quickly move the last dark brown bookshelf to the classroom library area. And here it is, wow. I did fully pack three full bookshelves, almost a fourth one, half of or two thirds of a fifth one. And these two are empty for the remaining chapter books. Oh my goodness, so much work. I will come back tomorrow for day two of classroom setup. So stay tuned for that. Let me give you a 360 view of the classroom. So here is my teacher area, which is my least concern right now. And these three bookshelves, hopefully I can move them tomorrow. There's the back of the room. There are the three door carts. There's five of them, six of them actually. There's all this stuff on top of the student desk that I need to find homes for now that I'm moving the bookshelves out. I have the cubby system that I need to zip up the storage bins that go inside of all of those. So I'll do that tomorrow. And here is the rest of it. Oh my goodness, I still have to set up the board configuration. I have to put my credentials up there. But for one day's work and only me by myself, I'm really proud of doing all of this. It's a lot of stuff, but thank you for coming along with me on my classroom setup day one for the 2022-2023 school year. I'm excited. So stick around and see how it all turns out in the end. Don't know if I'm gonna keep this type of desk configuration. For now, that's just how I'm gonna have it. It'll probably change by next week. If you made it this far into the video, put a fan emoji so that you can send me some good vibes for a cool day tomorrow but thank you so much for coming along if you enjoyed this video don't forget to hit the like button leave a comment down below let me know what you thought or any questions you may have and leave your emoji also if you haven't subscribed please consider subscribing and hitting the bell for notifications so you don't miss any future videos i hope you have a beautiful magical day and don't forget to smile Hello dreamers, wishers, and magical thinkers. Thank you so much for making it to the very end of this video and for showing your support. If you'd like to subscribe, you can do so by clicking on my picture down here. You can also check out my latest videos here and here. Don't forget to believe in the magic that's inside you because you are capable of great things. See you next time.